Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Really appreciate you joining us today. Today is Sunday, which is roast day. I love my roast, as you know. Lovely day, not quite as hot as last week. If you looked at last week's video, you'd know it was unbelievably hot. We're in Surbiton, Southwest London, which means we've done the Southeast, we've done the West, and now we're doing the Southwest. We're at the Grove Pub, and I'm really looking forward to trying their Sunday roast. As always, let's give it a go. I've already ordered, it does table service, or you can order at the bar. I've just gone to the bar and ordered. Uh, I've got to say, I didn't reserve the booth. Service, excellent. If you want to use the booth, hasn't got a name on it, sir, no problem at all. Really like that. Really thought the service was good. On to the menu. I've ordered the roast beef, which comes with roast potatoes, mixed kale, maple roasted carrots, looking forward to them, mulled red cabbage, Yorkshire pudding and gravy. It also has roast chicken, roast porchetta and vegan wellington, all bases covered. Excellent selection of bar snacks, starters. If you don't want to roast, you can have some of the pub favourites, the likes of short rib and flank burger. Uh, there's fish on there, sea bass, fish and chips, halloumi, cauliflower, Thai green curry. They've covered all the bases here. So if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, no issue at all. Nice range of sides there. I haven't gone for the sides. I've just gone for the roast dinner and five different puddings. Again, let's see the size of the dinner first. The roast beef is £19.50 and I can't wait. See you shortly. Okay, so the roast is here. It does look very nice. First impressions? Yeah, quite impressed here. Look at the size of that Yorkshire pudding. I have seen bigger in our first video. How many slices of beef is there? Two slices of beef. Uh, four roast potatoes. The red cabbage, the curly kale. Hmm, it's interesting. I haven't got me maple carrots. Actually, there's a theme here as well. I haven't got my horseradish sauce either. Right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, problem solved. Got my horseradish cream, got me carrots. As an apology, I've got lots and lots of carrots. Let's tuck in and see what it tastes like. Start with the beef. Hmm. A lot of flavour in the beef, but I have to say slightly overdone. That's very much medium, medium and a little bit more. 
the roasties. They look really good. Nice crust on the outside. Lovely and fluffy in the middle. Mm. Really nice. Nice bit of seasoning on top as well. A little bit of the kale, the healthy food. Mm. Very al dente. Mm. That cabbage is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Now the maple carrots. Now I was looking forward to these. Not a huge maple flavour in there, I've got to say. Might have been unlucky on that. Let's try another one. No, hardly any maple flavour there. The Yorkshire. You hear that crisp sound. Lovely and crisp on the outside. Fluffy in the middle. They are good Yorkshires. Definitely homemade. The gravy. A bit concerned because the gravy is a bit thin. Mm. That gravy is bursting with flavour. Obviously, added the, the juices of the, the beef in there. That is very, very, very good. Let's try a piece of beef with the, the add-ons. See, it's a little bit tough. A little bit of horseradish. I'm finding that beef a little bit tough. Horse radish is nice. It's not homemade. I don't think it's homemade. I'm going to crack on and I'll see you shortly. Okay, just had to change location. Big party arrived behind us, lots of children, a bit too much noise. On to the roast. Where do I start? I have to start with the beef. The beef was overcooked. It was tough. Uh, it did have a nice flavor, I've got to say that, but totally overcooked. The roast potatoes, they were lovely. Nice and crisp on the outside, lovely and fluffy in the middle, really good seasoning. That was really good. The maple carrots didn't have an awful lot of maple on there. As I dug down, there was a little bit of maple um, at the bottom of the, the bowl, but not a huge amount of maple on there. It always worries me a little bit when it arrived, when it came, she said, uh, yeah, we've just heated it up for you. The red cabbage did have a lovely mold for, uh, flavor to it. That was very, very good. And the kale, again, that was nice as well. Got to say the Yorkshire pudding, that was really, really, really tasty. And the gravy itself, um, it looked thin, but it had lots of flavor in there. The, the gravy was really good. But I've got to say, overall, it was a little bit disappointing. The portion size was okay, it wasn't huge. You've got to bear in mind, it was 19 pound 50. So um, I thought the portion size would be a lot, a lot bigger. However, two slices of beef was enough for me because I, I'd struggled to eat a third slice only because it's so overdone. Got to say the grove 
is an amazing location, truly, truly amazing. Has lots of big screens in here as well, so if you're interested in your sports, this is definitely a, a good place to come to. Service, very, very good. I know they forgot the carrots and the horseradish, super apologetic, came out within two, three minutes. Service, I've got to say, very, 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 very good. The meal itself, I'm afraid, was disappointing. I can only give it 6.5 out of 10, and that's disappointing. Now, I've got to say, it has an absolutely amazing reputation, so again, I might have been a little bit unlucky. So, you should give it a go and give it a try yourself. If you could like and subscribe to the channel, as always, you know that always helps. And if you could leave your comments on what you thought of the uh, roast beef dinner today, I'll be re interested to know. And if you think I've been a bit harsh at 6.5, again, I'd like to hear your opinion on it. Until next time, cheers.